Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing, I don't do this very often or I haven't done this, I haven't done one of these in, well, I, I did one recently in, on Vietnam, but I haven't done a Cambodian immigration update in some time, mostly because I, I think expat sites and things over in Cambodia were kind of covering this, but I have had some correspondence recently where folks have asked me, hey, what's going on with some other countries in the region with respect to their immigration rules and things, and in kind of a comparison contrast with Thailand, for the most part, most of the tourists especially that come to Thailand, a, a large number of them seem to go to Cambodia and Vietnam with a great deal of frequency, more so I would say than other countries in the region, I, and I don't necessarily consider the Philippines part of sort of the land-based Southeast Asia. I do know there has been in the past a lot of traffic between Thailand and the Philippines, but uh, a recent article from the Podium Mail, that's podiummail.com, article is titled, In Reopening Tourism, Cambodia Trying to Avoid Making Thailand's Mistakes. So quoting directly, the main thrust of the Cambodian initiative, and to just paraphrase, Cambodian initiative, they're looking to sort of reopen their tourism to some degree, not unlike Thailand's, although they, there seem to be some contrast between the Thai reopening and the Cambodian reopening. Quoting again, uh, starting over here. The main thrust of the Cambodian initiative is to open the 12th century Angkor Wat archaeological site to fully vaccinated foreigners from October 2021. They would be accommodated and relaxed in the neighboring town of Siem Reap, which, like Pattaya, is currently a ghost town because of the collapse of international tourism. Quoting further, superficially, the plan looks rather like the Phuket Sandbox Initiative, but there are important differences. Whilst international arrivals in Phuket will need advanced clearance from Thai embassies abroad and be subject, excuse me, let me read that again. Whilst international arrivals in Phuket will need advanced clearance from Thai embassies abroad and be subject to insurance and entry fees, Cambodia would allow groups of foreigners simply to land and show their passports and vac vaccination certificates to immigration authorities. The important thing is to cut the bureaucracy at the international checkpoints. Quoting further, the Cambodian Ministry of Tourism said that no final decision has had yet that no final decision had yet been been taken, but the vital thing was to simplify the entry procedures as much as possible. So interesting. Uh, Cambodia seems to be trying to reopen to some degree too, but they do not have, for example, the what's noted in there, they're talking about the procedures at Thai embassies, most notably the certificate of entry process. As we've noted in other videos on this channel, the COE or certificate of entry is now an integral part of being able to enter Thailand, even for Thai nationals. This isn't just for visa seekers. Everybody presently that wants to come to Thailand has to seek a certificate of entry. How long that procedure, how long that will continue remains to be seen. I think the author in, in this potty and mail piece, again, and I urge people to go check this out, a lot more content in here. I just pulled an excerpt out of this. It's in reopening tourism, Cambodia trying to avoid making Thailand's mistakes. That's pottyandmail.com. A, a good point's made. I think, you know, Cambodia's doing it differently. They're not trying to front load having all of this certificate of entry procedure. They're just checking things when people come in. There's something to be said for that, especially in light of the fact that I can't imagine there's gonna be a huge volume of people, at least in these first few months. So it seems logical to presume that folks on the ground at immigration would have the time to review documentation, especially vaccination documentation, before you know being permitted to enter the country. And there's always a possibility that if, if documentation is deficient, and give that person a choice, either return to your home country or wherever you came from, or go into quarantine here and then we'll let you out. So again, not optimal for the, for the traveler that's kind of stuck in that rather unfortunate position, but it is, it is something to think about. So maybe Thailand will take a look at this as you know, the months progress and hopefully we start to see things ease off over here, but it looks like Cambodia is making strides toward reopening, looks like presently to tourists, at least in the Angkor Wat region, in October of 2021.